Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Everhorn92 here. I'm here with who? Uh, my name is Daniel Duong, and, and uh, I played the LA Regional today. Um, hey. I just got back home. Nice. And uh, what, what did you do um, with this um, uh, wonderful library? And what place did you got, by the way? Um, I made 15. Uh, I was 6 0, round 7 and 8, and there was 9 rounds of Swiss with 40, about 40, 50, 450 players. Okay, okay. And uh, before I uh, get into the deck profile, uh, you want to give any uh, shout outs to anyone? Oh, there's a ton. Um, shout out to my this my group chat, Order 69. Y'all supporting me. Uh, shout out to Kid Isaac. Uh, that kid rooting for me. Like, we, we were so close to top. We, we placed, but like, we were so close to making top cut. Like, it was insane. Um, to you, actually, because you actually helped me with this deck. Thank you. Low key. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, but we can get rolling, actually. I, All right. What would you like to do? All right. Uh, we can start with the monster lined up. Yep. All right. So, um, I'm just going to go over that again for our first, that's okay. Like, yeah. 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 Um, so, three so three Ariana, uh, three Lady Labyrinth, three Lord of the Heavenly Prison. That's my monster lineup. No, lovely. That card sucks. Like, it's a brick. <laughs> Yo. Uh, right. The card's a brick. Like, I like, like, the Labyrinth player, like, like or a chat player, right? Like, I kind of want all my cards to be like live all the time and like be able to set or like summon. Mm -hmm. And the, if you have lovely in your hand, that card is literally like so hard to get out of your hand by the, by the time you summon it, it's too late. Like you're just behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes and sense. then, like, Makes up, sense. and then, um, anything else? Uh, nope. It's kind of like a standard. Uh, also, would you play any hand traps since I know you don't? Uh, no, no, we're playing a trap deck. We're setting five, dude. <laughs> like, the, uh, that, that is, that, that is. Something that like so that's the other thing, right? Everyone's who's playing Labyrinth, they're all playing like furniture cards and hand traps to not get like hand looped or like uh you know, like don't lock the cash. Um as we'll we'll get to the end of the video, like we have a surprise. But anyway. Yep, and then for the spells. Uh, continuing. Um the spells are like three duality and demise. Um there is a recurring theme at the end of the video I'll get to, we'll skip those. Yep. Um, trap cards. Uh, I play six welcome traps. Um, there's three trap trick, then that's also engine, which is like really important in like top deck when you're top decking, especially since you're playing a kind of a slower deck through Swiss. Mm -hmm. Um, there's three compul, uh, three care of the overroot, three Daruma cannon. Um, those are your normal traps. Also, the other thing of how I play this deck, this deck is hero beat. I'm just summoning a guy in set five. It just so happened that those normal traps that you play are also battle traps, like Edison or like any deck from like 2011, 2012, but they're just also chainable at any point in the game. So like, if you really think about it, those traps were crazy. Uh, and then the other part of the deck, um, you have to play floods because you're playing traps, right? So you play, was that three skill drink, three goes to match. Uh, those are the best cards with Kashira, like, like, uh, and that's like the game plan, beating cashier going second, like, it's, it's, it's abysmal. Um, and then, the other thing, right, like, I'm playing hand traps, right, so if I play for super heavy, and then full combo me, I need to find a, plan B is to, like, have a floodgate plus counter traps, which we play six of, which is three, uh, three solemn strike, and three Dr Draco Utopian Aura. Um, so basically, if you look at the deck skeleton, it's kind of like the Elder deck from, like, uh, Power of the Elements, but I, your deck is just significantly better with engine, so, like, going second or like even the course of the game so like that is nice that is true, that is true. um the extra deck no extra deck <laughs> oh see, see so we're, we're kind of near the end of the video now i guess surprise um <laughs> i didn't play one why is that um the problem with playing labyrinth this format or at least this whole like since vegas right I know that, like, Ryan Yu and Herman Hansen made a, a beautiful deck for that event. But after that event, it this deck sucks. Like, you just get zone locked if you don't play a hand trap. Like, this is abysmal. Especially when you play Prosperity and, like, Punishment in your deck. So, and, and that's the other thing, right? You, and then you play Ikea, right? Which you play, like, hand traps. I think hand traps in your deck. So, like, you still had to get lucky, right? Like, that's just, no. You're playing trap cards. Don't get lucky. <laughs> play them. Yeah, sure, so, 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 if you take the extra deck away from you, they can never zone lock you, ever. Like, it's abysmal. Like, it's impossible. So, even if you lose the roll, right, they're just making a board with one Arise Heart, uh, with one material, and the deal bowls, that doesn't do anything. So, like, they just pass, right? And then you set four cards and just flip, them, flip your cards up and you win. 
or you get to start playing, which is like really important. Yeah, sure. Um, and that means that like you can two o cash going second. Um, this is my side that's for it, right? Um, there's three Gamma Seal, so like their game plan, what, no, knowing that I don't have an extra, I'm just trying to slap a Kaiju when they go right start pass, and then like set five and they lose, like it's it's, it's free. And then like, um, there's three DD Crow, and so that slot was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. It worked out today at the regional because I paid per early, but like, um, that slot and and Despia, that slot needed to cover like a bunch of other matchups that Shifter couldn't cover. Or, and then the thing about Shifter right, against Purely, they just put exceeds under and like you just look abysmal. Like you don't have, even against like super heavy, like it doesn't even matter. Um, and yeah. then the also not once per turn. And you can top that card at, on, at any point in the game, unlike Shifter, which is like really important. Um, and then there's three, there can only be one. That card could also have been deck heavy. I know that card's really good for super heavy. But the issue, but and there's also Eradicator. But specifically, like third hand, um, I've been testing versus Super Heavy deck a lot, and I noticed that, like, you needed a Floodgate um, type card that sticks on the board forever, but also really good with a uh, Counter Trap in this case, right? Which you pay six of. Mm -hmm. So, as long as one of them stick, you're, you're always winning. And, like, um, yeah, like, it's just abysmal. Like, they could never, if they can, that can't get rid of two Flood, the game is over. Like, it's, it's abysmal. And then the Eradicator, that was mainly for going second or going first. Uh, the Despia deck when they have like spells and uh, or like the like, Duster and Tiny Storm were like the 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 death sentence to my deck because I don't make next solemn judgment which we side. Mm -hmm. So you need like uh, but you, your deck is eradicated turbo post side. You just get to it and like hope pray like look at their hand. Basically you're resolving like a pointer or like trap dash shooting your deck like it's insane mm -hmm. and um stuff like that. And I, like I mean, I, luckily I never played the mirror but like. That was also for the mirror because I just don't have removal for that deck. Like it's it's so scary. True. Um, yeah. Uh, that. Um, and then they saw judgment. Obviously. Also, the other thing about Psalm judgment that a lot of people forget against the super heavy deck is that like that card also just like strike where like it just hits all their monsters off the pendulum summon. Mm -hmm. So like, they're even if they're not like practically removing your deck or or removing your floods, um, as long as you get to hit their summons. That's like super important, um, especially the pendulum summon. So like, cause they just summon like three or four dudes, and like you just die. Also, like I in testing earlier in the week, I just got dank code. So like that card also covered that. Um, if I didn't open like judgment, which is like something really scary. Mm -hmm. Um, a at this point, any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, I was surprised. I know rivalry the warlord. Like, okay, so that's the other thing about this. I I know that like if I played more like I luckily I played two Despi during Swiss mm -hmm. so that could have been there like I would have just cooked them for sure mm -hmm. but the issue with rivalry is that like Eradicator does the same thing in this deck where like if they can't start then like that's just so you're just so ahead yeah it doesn't say like eradic like you the cards you the, um that the decks that you want rivalry in, you just eradicate them or like a lot of the time like you just crow them so uh, what was the most uh, MVP throughout the day. Oh my god, um, Card of Demise. Yo, so, crazy. I don't know if you guys know this about my deck. That card is, like, the centerpiece. So, as I'll get to mention again, um, there's no lovely in my deck. The cards do brick. You cannot draw, you cannot play it after turn one. A lot of the time, you must go through leaps and bounds to play it off your welcome traps. It's just unplayable. And then I'm not playing like real like floodgate monsters game or floodgate traps game one where like it's like barrier or like something like that where um even though they're good over the concerns of the game, it's just too matches specific and like I just wanted to play hero beat. Like I literally wanted to play battle traps in my deck because everyone's just like attack. Literally attacking the grind and just like I wanna say you just can't I block Yeah that is true. So um the stuff like that. Um so Lord of the Heavenly Prison Fix my issue of like, you just can't get a lightning storm or feather duster game one, right? Like you just it's just you just reveal the rock and you just like oh, better have it. And after I resolve it, oh wait, I did it during like the end phase, so you never get to do it, so you just die. So um, the other thing about that um about this deck is like you're playing a little monster count, so like I know that you're playing like about what eighteen cards the engine. Like, which is really consistent for a deck like this. Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is see one, and all the other trap cards are nice. Mm -hmm. So, and um, the other thing about that card is its stats. So, like, 3,000, 3,000 is, like, really, really crazy. 
Mm-hmm. Like, it's, like, you get to summon it in defense under skill drain or goes in, super heavy can't, like, kill you. Or even, like, cash. Like, it's just abysmal. Yeah. Um. So, and then we set card demise, right? Yep. That's another reason, like, I'm not playing extra. Because, like, you couldn't play cards, like, prosperity or extravagance in your deck because we were never getting zone locked. So we needed a card that would, like, that replaced the uh, the bomb of lovely that was quote unquote searchable but when you did resolve it it was like ridiculous every time it resolves it's game like the, the amount of times like they would ash or bell my like welcome traps i'm just drawing three cards for free and there everyone just freaked out like it was just crazy yeah no for sure um like it, you just dropped like three three real traps or engine again like or like i just draw ariana mm-hmm. um that's another thing about like people might be playing where's wannabe in your deck mm-hmm. here's the thing i can't set it when i'm trying to activate card demise i'm mm-hmm. just gonna just draw one less card but i can set solid duality and still draw three cards and still look at another card out of my top of my deck so i'm nice yep. <laughs> yeah 100 um, um would you change so anything? basically oh yeah and uh, would i change anything for this and that no, no. because i tested two weeks of dd for this mm-hmm. i deserve my placement i just got off factoring swiss like it's just it's Oh, dude yeah it is what it is but you you again next time oh uh, is this your yeah i hope so oh yeah you were saying um before into the video uh, this would be the best deck we known like could win oh, okay so that's the other thing about this format that i need to talk about <laughs> The problem, like I said, the problem with playing a trap deck in the Kashira meta was that if you had to play hand traps to not get zone locked. Mm-hmm. And I, and then it goes back to content, right? Mm-hmm. It, you have to draw the out. You have to get lucky. And that's Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yeah. But, like, back then, Yu-Gi-Oh was all about, like, not getting super lucky. You, you get to play what you're dealt with a lot I of the see. time. Yep. And, and... I didn't want to play a deck this event because I've been playing branded for like, I don't know, since Vegas, right? For whatever. Mm-hmm. And I just get zone locked to game three versus cash, mm-hmm. and it's just to draw the out. And that's like really unfortunate. So I wanted to play a deck that removed a lot of variance from getting zone locked. That is true. Um, and then, but, and, but like when I didn't get zone locked against every other deck, I'm just setting five cards, and that's a like really good Yu Gi Oh every single time. Yeah, that is true. Because I can go second, setting five versus like a combo deck. I just go drain and like activate strike and all my traps are alive and just flood and just break the board and kill you. Yeah, that is true. And plus you made a good um call because you're putting purple cards. You don't have to think through so many. Oh, that's another that's another thing. So the way I play, I'm kind of like that guy Kyle from like Jobber or whatever right now. Mm-hmm. Like our mm-hmm. matches take like 20 minutes. Like it's abysmal. Yeah, that's true. Like are you, you just literally just summon two guys or three guys and they're dead. Yep, that is true. It's free. Yep. But yeah, guys. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. One. One last thing before in this video. Do you think this card gonna skyrocket, Draco Utopia? I don't <laughs> think so because I did not top. Um, However, um, I do think that card should be worth more because it's a card <laughs> where, no, like I honestly, I think that card should be worth more where, because of the application, I think trap deck should just be playing it. Like it's the like it's like this again. I'll go to the analogy of hero beat. I literally summon guy in set five. This is the one of the best one form removals in the game. Like this card is literally divine wrath without discarding a card. Like that's insane. Yeah. And you and it's a counter check. You don't get to chain to it. Like hello. Yeah. And it blow and the card is literally gamma, so it blows up the monster. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't. And pay, that's why gamma went to one. Yeah, you don't pay life points too. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's crazy. Like, dude, that's the other thing too, right? Against Kashiro going second, there's about like about fifteen to eighteen cards that literally say like either blow up a rice heart or negate it. Like mm-hmm. going second. And because the rice only had one material. That's that so true. insane. Yep, that is true. That is true. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can think of. I want to say thank you. Congrats on making top sixteen at the regional, but next time you get it, this is just the beginning. I, I hope so. I just needs to be my day, bro. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I tried. It was a good performance. Um yeah. But but like I said, imagine if we knew this deck earlier. Mm-hmm. I don't think Cash would have been the best deck. <laughs> yo, yo, that is true, guys. I'm not lying to you. Like, yeah. Cash would not have been a real thing. Yeah. It's, it, people would have to make that Feather Duster just for this deck. That is true. It's kind of like the, the deck list one at the person to top, the 250 Flunder with no extra deck. Yeah, but like I said, the Flunder deck, right? Like, you just can't play that deck going second. Like, but That's this, true. knowing that you can't get zone locked, you can. 
Yeah, that is true. Plus, um, another thing. Monster. So around this time of the video, the badass is about to happen or about to be in effect. <laughs> so the question is really, is this that good post ban list? And I say, maybe you can play an extra if you want. It's just preference. I chose not to because I really like resolving card demise, yeah. and I don't want to draw prosperity when I resolve the card demise. That is true. That is true. Right? Yeah. Because it, yeah, it's it, you. You have to set a blank spell that didn't do anything. You just had a blank spell, and that's not a trap card, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But um, what to say? Thank you again, Daniel, for um for your time and your deck profile, and we'll hopefully see you very soon. And you're oh welcome. yeah, Starblehorn. Go crazy. Signing out. And you guys have any questions? Feel free to comment below. Peace.